Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another book review. And as you can see, I'm reading Haunting Adeline. So first off, this book came out in 2021. It is a dark romance, as you can see from the cover. And it was supposedly banned. So first I'm going to say it's a dark romance to so this triggers. Definitely read the author's trigger warnings. I cannot say this enough. Everyone's triggers are different. So please, before you dive into a book, especially if you know it's a dark romance book, please read the trigger warnings. That's all I'm going to say. Because for me, as I've said in my previous reviews, I've read some stuff. And to me, this would be like a little medium trigger that could get somebody, which I find interesting. And let me guys, let me know guys, or ladies, if you've read paranormal fantasy books, are some of the triggers for other romance or dark romance books, why is it okay in some of those books? And if you know, then you know what I'm talking about. If you know the authors that I'm thinking of, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. Because for real, some of the books should have been banned, and that's all I'm going to say. But hey, I'm not going to say that, because I love me some juicy, controversial books. So... That's my little rant. Let's get into this book. I'm going to give it 3.5. And I will say this. For the first, I'm going to say maybe almost half of the book, I did not really care for it. It was too wordy. Now, I will say this. I'm to the point in my reading, I just want to get to the point, get to the juicy stuff, get to the meat of the book and be done with it. Like, I just want it. I used to read those long, drawn out, you know, you take five pages to describe a room. I'm over it. I don't want to go back there. Mm -mm. If you like those type of books, then I love that for you. But as I'm growing older, I just, I don't have time to read five pages about a room or a, it's just, it's just not me. But I will say this, the later part of this book made me absolutely love it so much so that I'm chomping at the bit to read the next one and the next one will be hunting at a line and I figured out why it was hunting at a line and I was like if it is this simple I'm gonna be upset but anyway so this book I will say this is not bad now I've been in a reading funk so I really tend to not like anything right now but this book is really not that bad um, you've got the main character, the female character, Adeline. She's an author. So for most of the book, she, she's known as the manipulator because she manipulates people's emotions. Can't say that I, I disagree. Authors get us in our feelings, make us like certain characters, make us hate certain characters. It's manipulation. So I agree with that. So she, um, and this review may contain spoilers. I will try to let you know. So she knows she's moving into her grandmom's house and, and her mom's like, don't move into that house. It's just not worth it. Da, 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 da. Well, Adeline has this friend. And for the life of me, I can't think of her name. Oh, it starts with a D and I can't. Darby. Anyway, she has this friend who's a hacker and I like her friend. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't have a friend like this, you don't know what you're missing. So her friend basically doesn't have a filter. She's like, you did what? Oh, what? But that's how me and my friends, like, we're real, like, gruff and we're like, cuss you out a little bit, make fun of you. But when push comes to shove, we have got your back. Like, it's that little, mm, I'm going to get on your nerves today, but I'm so upset. And girl, what, I'm, I'm there in five minutes. That's the type of friendships that... Adeline and her friend has and I I love it I approve it it's fun so I'm like go ahead you you got your you got your ride or die girlfriend so Adeline in this new house gets a stalker stalker's name he goes by Z Z's a bad man want me a bad man he's a bad man he has a bunch of skills for a stalker. 
that's not really safe for the stalky. So Z is obsessed with Adeline and he decides that he needs to make her his. He's planning on having her fall in love with him. And I'm like, okay, here we go. But I like how he admits to her how messed up he is. And he's like, but I'm going to make love of me anyway. And I was like, ooh, that's some arrogance, sir. That's some great arrogance. Now, if you like an arrogant fella, you're going to love Z. Well, we find out why all the readers fall in love with Z. Because man is honey down human traffickers and child molesters. So he's a bad man with that aspect. Now, a little side story going on in this story is Adeline finds her great-grandmother's diary and finds out that her great-grandmother was in love with a stalker, her stalker, too. I was like, oh, your family. Girl, I feel the pain. I get it. But overall, like I said, the beginning of this book to the middle, I was not feeling it. I was just like, ugh, I'm not feeling it. But when more of the story started trickling in, I was like, oh, yes. Like last night, I was supposed to be watching a movie with my husband. I, I, I was secretly reading the book. And when I mean secretly, he was just giving me the side eye. Like, I know you're over there reading. And I'm like, yo, 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. <laughs> but yes, I would definitely recommend this. But only if you have the second book waiting to be, be read. Because this ends on a cliffhanger. Oh, and the cliffhanger. I was like, no, you didn't. So this is a book that it's a slow build. And then it's like, and you're like, it's over. I need the next one. Like, I need the next one out. Like, if I would have read this when it first came out, I'd probably been cussing and throwing my book. Like, no. But other than that, if you like dark romance, and you don't mind some of those bouncers being pushed, definitely, because there was one thing in this book that I never read before, and I was like, okay, that's a new one to me. Now, it's not particularly harsh. I just would have never thought of it. I don't have that type of mind, but I was like, okay. But yeah, this book is really good. Definitely give it a try, but no, please read the twenty the trigger warnings so you don't get triggered or traumatized because you know you're supposed to be reading for fun so let's get on this cover i love the cover i love the spider webs and i love how most of it's in black and white and the roses the roses have a meaning so I, I, once i've read this book i was like oh my gosh i get it but that is me done talking your ear off, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this, um, comment below if you've read it, if you like it, and if you don't, let me know why you don't like it because I can understand why a certain type of reader would not like this or care for it. As I said before, I'm leaning more towards the dark romance, but that's just where, I'm my, where my reading is at right now. So I'm done talking, ladies and gentlemen. I'll Talk to you off later. Bye.